All right, so I got my MacBook Pro up from 2007. So let's um, make use of it. The thing is, this has served me so well for many years. As you can see, right now half the LEDs just don't even switch on. Um, so it's like the screen is really dim. I hope this thing still works and it's not been damaged or anything. Okay, so let's plug this thing in. Okay, you can see disk access there. That night Rider looking thing. <laughs> okay, so I've put the hard drive near the microphone so that we can all hear. I mean, this thing is not making any odd bad sector sounds at all to me. So I don't know. Actually, it is. You can hear it. Part where it's stuck. Even though I'm trying my best to do the positive thinking, this thing, I don't think I'm gonna get my stuff off this thing. It's just, it's getting worse and worse as time goes by, and it's just, I've lost a lot of the stuff. Um, I'm glad I backed up to some seriously crucial stuff. I mean, I do have a lot of data from the past uh, in the form of DVDs. <laughs> As you can see, it's like there's a lot. So I'm so thankful that I've got that. I haven't lost absolutely everything, but I've lost quite a bit of good stuff there. It's like, thank God I decided to save these because... Um, I mean, a couple of people have been telling me, back up your drives. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a no-brainer. Of course I'm going to be backing it up. But the thing is... We've moved out of the era of the DVD. I mean, you're, you're trying to back up... I'm trying to back up two to three terabytes here. I mean, how how am I going to do this? I mean, Blu-ray is even... That is not enough. I mean, you have per disc... How much is it? Uh, 25 gig per disc. And probably a little higher. But it's not going to be, you know, anything more than that. So you're gonna, still going to need a... Look, uh, uh, like, grab a lot of discs. And besides... It didn't catch on so much, so but Blu-ray drives are still kind of expensive and discs are still kind of expensive too. So the only option one has to back up a hard drive of this size is to buy a new hard drive of this size. And that's the only way. I mean, this is just... on DVDs this is tedious. You know, gone other times that we can back up easily um, like this. So basically this piece of hard drive has gone. It didn't come up on the uh, MacBook Pro and I've tried reconnecting it to the main computer. Nothing. It just... It spins up. It comes up and the smart detector on my BIOS actually just says, you know, it's bad. I've got other options that I can do to get my... Well, not to get my stuff back, but to kind of, I mean, I've got my some of my um, music library uh, on my phone. That's one. I have another old hard drive here. It's 160 gig. I got it because it's pretty. Sorry, but I can't help that. I mean, deep red is one of my favorite colors. Anyway, that's got some stuff on it from way back. This one, I remember just before buying the Toshiba. This is a custom, um, uh, what do you call it, enclosure. I mean, this has some stuff in it, which um, obviously it's not everything, but it's a lot of a lot of important things. Throughout the years, I've acquired a collection of <laughs> USB flash drives and uh, other cards as such. The good thing about this is um, this one's eight gig. This one, sorry, this one's four gig. This one's one gig. This is sixteen. That's sixteen, and this is sixty-four. This has got a lot of stuff in it. So my laziness in organizing stuff. It's pretty, you know, has worked to its advantage here. I haven't cleared any of these out and I'm sure I can salvage some stuff, you know, from here too. So, you know, all is not lost. A lot is lost, but all is not lost. I'm going to go and get a new hard drive. Um, what the freak is going on outside there? Anyway, um, I'm going to shut the freak up. 
I mean, I am a backup freak, as you can as you've noticed right now, but um, it's just when things started getting a bit expensive to back up. I mean, this is three terabytes. Ugh, disgusted by this now. Can't even freaking look at this stupid thing. Go away. When I get my new drive, I will do a kind of unboxing, which is kind of weird in feeling. Okay, it's good that I got a new drive, but it's not good that I've had to go and get a new <laughs> drive, do you know what I mean? I really could, uh, you know, I I didn't need this now. Just lighten the mood up a bit. While I was searching for all this stuff and searching for things that could possibly have my stuff on it, I came across an, a couple of little treasures. One of them being one of my original Maxter IDE hard drives. I used to always go with Maxter, you know, it's uh, it never failed me. But uh, these days, these stupid freaks have taken over Maxter now. So these don't exist anymore. And uh, not to mention my external Maxter drive. Actually, this the external Maxter drives I didn't trust so much. Because I the same thing happened, actually not the same thing, but I managed to recover my data. I lost, you know, about uh, 8 gigs worth of data on this. In the past, I'm looking about, you know, way back in 2004 or something. Yeah, I managed to get it back. I got recovery software, which... It's just I switched it on one time and all my files were not there. Even the hard drive was showing up. Anyway, so what's done is done now. Um, let's try and start new beginnings. See you soon. <laughs> so, moving on to the day. I went out to get a hard drive and um, and to be honest with you I'm not extremely excited about this um, <laughs> unboxing. It's one of those things that, okay, I got something new but the circumstances are not exactly best. In fact, they're not good at all. So I kind of left it like three days or something before actually doing this. <laughs> so I just thought, yeah, hey, I, well I might as well just get this over and done with. So anyway. What I've actually got here is a HDSD, which is formerly Hidachi, now apparently Western Digital it, you know, owns it. But apparently they still make the hard drives separately from Western Digital ones, I guess. So the reason why I went for HDSD is because, according to a company called Backblaze, who thoroughly tested hard drives from three different companies, Seagate, HDSD and Western Digital, uh, they deemed the HGST to have the lowest failure rate. And trust me to get the very same brand and exact same hard drive that has the highest failure rate. This Seagate 3TB, if you were to look at it, this is the one that failed. If you were to look at it on Backplace's uh, data chart here, you will see that it has the worst failure rate. And I can testify to that. So, I decided to get myself one of these instead. Now let's hope this, uh, I mean, I know this is gonna fail at some point, they all do, but the question is, you know, how long is it gonna last, the length of it. So, and I've also got, you know, so let's open this thing. Let's get my cow knife. Makes things so much easier. Okay, so I guess it seems to come very nicely packed. It has the it's for the box aside. It has the um, Turbo Cloud backup. There's this I I don't know why, but I have an issue. Me personally, I have an issue with any cloud service. I have no idea, but <clears throat> I just, I cannot get myself to trust them. Um, it's like your data on somebody, your personal private data on somebody else's server. It could go at any time. Someone else can see it or was authority at any time. It's just, I don't know, I'm just like that. I'm very private in this way. Um, so, cloud services, including Apple Cloud, including all sorts of cloud, I just don't go there. Dropbox, I just, I, Dropbox is the only one I use and that's just to transfer files to friends or anyone, you know, who's far away from me. But never do I store things on cloud backups. Anyway, so here we have this moisture barrier bag and HGST attention warnings, January 2006 is dated, everything is 4 terabytes. Come with the screws also, which is good. 
I'm a fan of this, this kind of blue. Well, I'm a fan of, uh, mostly fan of ocean blue, but I don't know, I'm quite a fan of this kind of blue. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> That's the unboxing here. What I need to just do now is take it off of the computer and just install it inside, which is what I will do now. This is, is this one of those do not cover this whole things that the old one used to have? Oh yeah, it is, do not cover this whole. <laughs> Let's see, this is Shiva Hajra, which I'm definitely going to use for backup. Since I've installed laminate flooring, everything seems to get <clears throat> dusty so quick. I guess, um, you know, there's no carpet to absorb the, the dust anymore or let it settle on. I really appreciate this case. It's times like this when I seriously appreciate it. Switch the thing off from the PS2. There's the hard drive base. I need screwdriver. <laughs> Where does it go? Something I don't even need the screws that came with um, the hard drive because I already have the screws provided from the case, which I keep in this, the captain's little teacup. I always keep my. I know there's a lot of or ornamental cups and stuff around my room. I tend to keep these little bits in there, so I'm like, okay, at least it's not completely. It's even the Raspberry Pi memory card, the one that's got RetroPie on it, it's in here. <laughs> so you have this one here. Don't fail me, you. Wow, I actually didn't need a screwdriver whatsoever. I just did it with my hands because um, these are even easy screws to do. You can like thumb screws. I prefer these to be honest. Yeah. That's all. So switch it on and off we go. Let's now go into the BIOS and see what happens. Okay, so it's a disk which I put in. It's It wasn't detected by the BIOS, well it wasn't uh, listed by the BIOS, but uh, I came into here, it's just the disk you inserted, it was not readable by this computer. Which means it's not formatted, so I guess uh, to initialize it and see if the BIOS picks it up. So I now have 4 terabytes extra empty. <laughs> So now it's the time for me to scrounge around for data, <laughs> for my data that's like spread along all these drives and CDs and everything. So I think I have like 60% of my stuff, you know, which is better than not percent of my stuff in a completely blank drive. I have some of my music library on the phone, everything, so, you know, I can recover somewhat and that footage which I lost I checked it's in the camera thank goodness so I can you know still make that video it'll just be delayed uh, hopefully it'll be done by next week thank you so much for joining me here and being patient with all this uh, issues and all this trouble that's gone on and uh, thank you so much for your likes your comments and do subscribe for more and if you're new here, do check out my other videos. So for now, I say adios. <laughs>